Hello students, please sit down. Thank you ma'am. My name is Talin Seth. What is your name? My name is Shivi Chauhan. What about you? My name is Anushka Saini. Shivi, you are serial number A. Anushka, you are serial number B. Shivi, what kind of hobbies do you have? Tell me something about it. Okay, I love reading because reading can take you to a different world and through this hobby you can learn a lot more new things. And what do you like about your school? Well, I like my school because it not only focuses on the overall academic excellence of the child but it also pays attention that the child is learning new activities and other things as well. That's good. Anushka, what is your favorite time to study and why? My favorite time to study is early in the morning because there is no one to disturb you at that time and all that you could hear is complete silence and sweet chirping of the birds. Anushka, how do you spend your weekends? I spend my weekends in a very interesting manner. I go for shopping, I go for sightseeing or sometimes I spend some time with my relatives and my friends or sometimes I go for a movie too. Okay, that's fine. Shivi, now you are going to tell us something about your topic. When you will finish, Anushka will ask you some questions and I will ask you some more questions. Would you like to begin please? Sure ma'am. My topic is wisdom and humor. Whenever we are trying to convey some message to some people, say an audience, our interest in conveying the message is not the only important thing. People should also be interested in what we are saying. And for that, we not only have to be wise enough, we also have to be humorous at times. A person is humorous if he or she has the quality of being funny or comical. And it's not just me who feels this way. I have noticed that many people they are comfortable talking to people who are humorous and wise at the same time. Humor and wisdom is the best combination of characteristics a person can ever have. Humor, there is nothing such as humor which can make people drop their guard. Humor is the best quality we can possess because when we want people to consider a new perspective, we have to have all the necessary information and knowledge and then it's even better if we can get people to laughing. Shivi, what do you think is the importance of wisdom in a man's life? Wisdom is one of the greatest gems of the world and if we are ever stuck in any problem, then only wisdom can get us out of it. And how do you think that wisdom and humor are the characteristics to define a person? Yeah, I think totally because, a per because as I told you, people love staying with people who are humorous and wise at the same time. Shivi, are you a humorous person? Yes, I think I have a good sense of humor. Okay, that's pretty cool. Tell me what role does humor play in our day-to-day -day interactions with people? Well, if we are humorous, then people laugh, they relax and they open up towards our ideas. Thank you, Shivi. Now Anushka, you will talk about your topic. When you will finish, Shivi and I, I'm going to, we are going to ask you some questions. Would you like to begin please? Yes. My individual topic is music. Truly said, where words fail, music begins. Music is an art which uses a melodious and harmonious combination of notes to make a person feel pleasant. Music gives soul to universe, wings to mind, flight to imagination and life to everything. And the best part about music is, when it hit us, we don't feel pain, even we feel joyful and happy. And music sometimes works as a tranquilizer, as it makes us feel happy and relaxed when we are sad, stressed or alone. Music has a great diversity within itself. Some people like listening to slow music, some people listen to rock music, while some other people like listening to trance music. Our country, India too, has a wide range of music forms. I feel very sad for the people who are deaf and could not listen to music. And I also feel that music can change the world as it can change the people. Anushka, what kind of music do you like listening to most? I like listening to country music as I could relate to it. And who is your favorite music artist? Lana Del Rey. Oh, cool. Anushka, what is the importance of music in our everyday life? Music plays a significant role in our everyday life as when we are burdened or stressed, it makes us feel relaxed. 
Uh, we ourselves flow according to the type of music it is. Thank you, Anushka. Now, let's move on to the next task. This is a problem solving task. I'm going to hand over this problem solving card to you. This contains information about a problem. You have two minutes to discuss it together. Here is your problem. You can discuss it and read it aloud once Thank for you. us. Your friend spends all his free time watching television. With your partner, discuss what problems can this lead to? How can she be encouraged to take up more productive activities? Hey Shivi, did you watch the show today? No, I didn't watch any television show because nowadays I have stopped watching television as I feel it's a waste of time. Yes, you're right. Not only you but also some children like Rhea who spend most of their time watching useless television shows should also give up watching television. Yeah, definitely they should give up watching television because it can have many adverse effects on our lives and even on our health. And especially those TV serials because you cannot get finished with them in one go. You have to watch them daily. Yes. Moreover, watching television for such a long time can leave a bad effect on our eyes and moreover, a person can become uh, short-tempered. Yeah, that totally happens when you're watching excess of television. And also, I feel instead of watching television, she can read books, newspapers, magazines and many other things, you know, to stay up to date. She can also help her mother with household chores and spend quality time with her father and her family instead of being couch potato. Yes, totally. And in fact, I feel that if she wants to watch television, she should set some particular time for it and should watch television within those hours and not waste her time. Yes. And I feel like for physical fitness, she should go for a walk or play outdoor games like basketball, badminton which will keep her fit. Yeah, totally. And in that case, she can even learn, you know, chess and crosswords to make her vocabulary better and also to get a nice word power. Yes, we will surely suggest her to involve in these things and also spend her precious time in studies and physical activities. She could also spend some time in inculcating her new hobbies. Yeah, she could totally do that. And what I feel is that she likes dancing. Maybe she can, you know, just prepare dancing and all those things instead of watching television and wasting all her time harming her eyes and everything. Hmm. I agree and then only she'll leave watching television and stop just she leave watching television and spend her quality time with all such good things. Yeah exactly and she'll stop wasting her time too. Yes. Right. Okay that's very good. Shivi do you think she should stop watching TV at all? No, not exactly because we can watch TV but we should have specific hours for watching television and it's that in those specific hours she should watch only the nice shows, the good shows with, which can you know give her knowledge. Okay. Anushka, do you think uh, the solution that you have provided is appropriate enough? Yes, it is appropriate as uh, Watching, instead of watching television, if she'll involve in physical activities or like say playing chess and spending some time with her family will always increase her abilities to do work and also make her feel good. Shivi, do you think uh, her parents can play some role in helping her house? Yes, of course her parents can play a very, very important role. They need to encourage her to develop and inculcate more activities and more hobbies in herself and also if she's a very stubborn child they can lock the TV up and like in the beginning they can totally do that. Anushka, do you think our school counsellor has any role to play in this regard? Yes, surely a school counsellor can encourage that girl not to watch television and involve in very productive activities and tell about the consequences and harmful effects the TV could leave on her. Thank you students, Thank that you. was really wonderful, it was the end of your test, you may proceed now. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.